Okay, here we go. I am ooh, I am trying a new map. Um inspired by Vex's uh uh what is it? Uh his uh his hostile thingies. But this one was made by Aaron Kara. And I, we did play, um, Pam and I played the first version where the tree was actually on, uh, on this land here. And, uh, I might come into that one in a, in a little bit. But this is a, gonna be a little let's play of this. Uh, here are the rules. Oh, wait a minute. Let me go grab this stuff before it disappears. Alright. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Why is that hanging there? Hmm. Okay, uh, let's see. We gotta find the Lost Fortune. And I don't think I found that in the other version. Uh, after completing all the challenges, you may go to the mainland. Uh, we gotta make TNT and blow up the house. Find a way to extinguish the lava. That was easy. Uh, we're trapped. We must complete uh, the challenges to be set free. This is the first of these challenges. Complete the objectives on the signs. Uh, build a two-story house. I build a three-story house, actually. Um, we need three trees, ten cacti, and ten reeds. Easy, easy, easy. Uh, make a woolen monument and burn it. Okay, so the first thing that I see right here is... Woo! Oh! Jesus! I should have dug up some sand. <laughs> Yeah, here we go. Okay. Alright. I guess we're gonna dig up some sand in here. We wanna fix that lava problem we, <laughs> we seem to have. I don't know why he felt the need to add lava. It doesn't make it any harder, really. It just... Uh... It, I don't know. It's... The way you have to design your maps is you have to be creative in that you hide things very well making maps like this with lava is easy to uh, get around and I'm downloading oh so I might ooh, ooh, be a little laggy uh, we gotta plant the tree oh uh, we're we gonna plant this tree somewhere the lava won't get it <laughs> Uh, now being I played the other version, I know where some of the stuff is located. Oh, I gotta make sure this has a... Is there a light? Yeah, there's a light right here. Okay. Whoop. So Vex is, uh, on the, on the message board saying that, uh, he should make people work for, um, what they, uh, oh, look at that what they um what they get so we are gonna where are we gonna put this tree we better put it somewhere fast though oop I have no more dirt wait a minute <laughs> there's a couple of green pieces of dirt somewhere around here wasn't there oh my goodness I can't remember oh yeah over here okay well that's the dirt we're gonna need to spread later on Alright, did I just waste my... Well, screw it. There you go. Okay, we can't be messing about. Alright, I need to... Uh oh, no, there's no tree yet. Damn. Okay. Well, we know what's down here. Hopefully we won't... Ooh. Get lava in there on us. It's co pretty cool that he... uh Oh crap, 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 Oh Okay. Well, yeah. Uh Okay. Yeah, we're gonna just go ahead and put that there. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, 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 don't want to do that. Alright. Oh my goodness. Well, Thank you, Mr. Creeper. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Okay, now let's get the bow in here. That's a torch. Great. We got one single torch. 
Oh, wait a minute. We got ten torches. Aw, oh, yeah. Alright. So, before I deal with those guys down there, I am going back upstairs to put some torches around. Because we don't need any bad guys. Oh, I don't want to put them here to uh, show up. I don't think they'll spawn here anyway. I think they have to have grass, right? If I'm not mistaken. And I think all this all this lava makes the frame rate go down anyway. It's just just annoying. Cause all I have to do is get a bucket. I find three pieces of iron, get a bucket, and pour it over that stuff and there you go. That's it. So yeah. It was a good attempt at making it hard, but it really didn't make it hard at all. Because I'm not going to be going out there. I mean, on the first map, when it was surrounded by water, you don't go out there. Oh, let me see. Come on, tree. We ended up having, like, a bunch of, uh... Of, uh, the new... Yeah, that's that stuff. We had a bunch of the new trees... Uh, the birch trees and you may notice that um, I'm on beta uh, 1401 it's because the craft bucket doesn't work so I went back a level and we're gonna play on this because it has uh, stuff on my server but I'm not gonna use any server stuff so don't worry it's gonna be played like normal so uh yeah um, if I want to know the challenges, I'll just, there we go, we can see them nice and clear. So if I want to remember the challenges, I'll just look at the video. Okay. I'm hoping that darn tree will grow already. So I can get a spoon, and I can get the snow. Uh, I'm wondering if it, that will be even worth it. I don't think it's worth it. Let's get the snow. So I'm going to put the light right there. There you go. There's already some water right here. <laughs> and I believe the lava is making a, a cobblestone generator by itself. So, yeah, I don't know that the whole lava idea works for this map. It makes it a lot laggier. At least on my version, it's laggy. But it's very bright. It's very bright, so I guess it's helping with light, <laughs> if anything. But yeah, I don't I don't think this makes it harder at all. Maybe waiting for the tree to grow might be. That's the only hard part about it is just prolonging um, the game. You don't want to necessarily prolong people's um, play. Uh, if they enjoy the map, they're going to play the map for however long they want to. But don't force somebody to wait. That's the most unenjoyable maps that I've played are the ones where uh, you had to use whatever wood they gave you as your tools. Uh, I just finished playing one that kind of map and it was fun. The map was, but the the experience wasn't fun where all you had to rely on was now what do I have to do here? Was uh whatever wood the guy gave you. It marks the stop dig here. Yeah, <laughs> dude, really. That is not gonna make make a map hard by telling people to dig right here. I think I already made a mine here on my uh, other version and I will and I will uh, do a little walkthrough. Yeah, okay. Well, that don't work because I'm going to put this in here instead. Because we don't have any tools yet, so it doesn't make for a very good exp uh, let's play if you're waiting for your tree to grow. You know, at least start a person out with a tree, or not not necessarily the tree, but 
hide the tree. I mean, you can grow it underground and we dig through the sand to get it, you know? It could already be alive down there. Yeah, but this is this isn't making it harder. I can tell you that. It's just prolonging. That's all. All right. Uh, well, I could try Pam's rain dance. That's how she got the first trees to uh, <laughs> to s <laughs> to grow the first time. We did a little rain dance. Well, I could go down and mess with the zombies, I guess. With the spawner. Maybe it's a spider spawner this time. I don't know. Wait, it might be in, in the... Uh, somebody posted on the forums that they think that there was a spawner inside the this stuff. And I don't think so, because I drained this. I got it in a bucket on the other world, and there was nothing in there. <laughs> 